Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chen. And in this video, I want to talk about why this is the dock you should get for your MacBook. Before I start crunching all the numbers and specs, let's take a step back and talk about why do you even need a dock. Nowadays, using laptops as main machines seems to be the mainstream, and manufacturers are aggressively pushing USB Type-C as the new standard. So you will likely get into a situation where you need to connect your flash drives or external devices to a computer via old-fashioned USB-A interface, which still remain predominant on most devices. If you are a streamer or do any type of content creating work in which you need to connect your cameras, your audio equipment, external SSDs and whatnot, your desk gets messy pretty quickly with all the dongles and cables. An all-around docking system, especially a Thunderbolt compatible one, can be a great solution to make your life easier. CalDigit released their flagship product TS4 in the first quarter of 2022 to replace their previous powerhouse TS3 Plus. Due to the global chip shortage, I wasn't able to get my hands on one till late August. So why would I wait so long for this dock while there are a few other options are in stock? Well, the answer is ports. A lot of ports. 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 The TS4 features an absurd 18 ports of I.O a step forward from its predecessor TS3 Plus, which is equipped with still an impressive 15 ports and left the rest of the competitors in the dust. On the front interface, you will find an SD and micro SD card slot, an audio combo jack, two USB Type-C ports with one rated at 20 watts of power output and the USB-A port as well. Now, the real business is on the other side. Let's start with the Thunderbolt 4 upstream port to connect to your host MacBook with 98 watts of power supply the highest charging rate by any Thunderbolt 4 dock on the market. Right next to it are two Thunderbolt 4 downstream ports at 40 gigabits per second transition speed. Move on, we have a DisplayPort 1.4, another USB-C port, four additional USB-A port, USB port, USB, two of which are solely for charging. This comes in handy if you need to connect any USB power accessories on your desk and two audio jacks to connect to your microphones and speakers. Last but not least, a lightning fast 2.5 gig Ethernet port. Keep in mind that all the USB ports besides Thunderbolt 4 are USB 3.2 Gen 2 version, which provide 10 gigabits per second transition speed. Probably the only thing that's missing is the HDMI port, but that's not really an issue at all since you can simply use a USB-C or DisplayPort to HDMI adapter to save the day. This dock is constructed entirely out of aluminum, touched with a light gray anodized finish. The heatsink design on the sides helps the dock from overheating by this massive 230 watt power adapter. It also comes with these rubber strips, just press them down firmly into the heatsink groove on the side or on the top, and boom, now you can place the dock horizontally or upside down for your specific taste. Initially, I want to strap the dock behind my cable tray with a zip tie for a cleaner looking desk surface. But since I need to use my SD card slot quite often, and the fact that it matches my universal audio interface perfectly on the sizes and the exterior finishes, I decided to leave on my desk, and in my opinion, it fits pretty well around my setup. The TS4 package also comes with a 30 inch long Thunderbolt 4 cable, which I use to connect to my MacBook, another Thunderbolt cable to my monitor, a USB attached to the Elgato CamLink 4K for OBS recording setup, along with my main camera. And the rest of the USB ports are hooked up to my other peripherals. After everything is connected, there are still a few ports left open, which is important for any future upgrades like a dual or triple monitor setup or a KVM switch for a Mac and Windows work combo. I'm also using the cable sleeve to bundle everything on the back of the dock and attach to the under tray for a cleaner cable management. If you are interested to see more of my desk setup, I've made a comprehensive tour which you can check out from the link on the upper right corner. There has been a few upgrades since my last video, and I can't wait to share with you guys, so stay tuned. I got the CalDigit TS4 to replace my old deck. It's a huge upgrade and allow me to add more peripherals to my setup. But how does it go against other popular options on the market? A quick Google search will bring me to the following candidates. The OWC Thunderbolt Dock, Razer Thunderbolt 4 Dock Chroma, and the Kensington ST5700T. Now I'm pretty sure who designed the OWC and Razer Dog had a secret meeting. They look like came out of the same mode. Now someone might jump out and say, hey wait, 
OWC is superior to Razer because it has one extra port. I mean, you're not wrong, but come on, man, we're in 2022. Though, I have to admit that the LED lights from Razer Thunderbolt 4 dock is pretty cool, and I can see it fitting to a gaming setup perfectly, but not much for my personal taste. Kensington also have a very similar port configuration, but I just can't get over how boring their design language is on their product. All of our candidates provide 11 ports, which are miles away from Caldigit TS4 at a close price point. That being said, the winner of this contest is pretty obvious. It's not even a close one. So who exactly is this dock for? If the Thunderbolt 4 interface can speed up your project in a good margin and be more productive, or if you have a bunch of equipment you need to connect to your machine, or you're just a tank trendy guy who wants the latest and greatest. There are tons of smaller and more budget-friendly adapters on Amazon that might just satisfy your workflow and get the job done. At the end of the day, only you can justify whether or not this sexy block is worth $379 price tag. But if you find yourself in the market for the best Thunderbolt 4 dock there is, this Caldigit TS4 is the one to get, and you can take that to the bank. That is all for this video. Let me know in the comment section below of your application to use a docking system and which one is your personal take. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.